Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is video number three for the mystery puzzle by White Mountain. It is Murder at Little Piddling. And I'm just moving a couple of things out of the way. And so what I decided to do on this video, I was going to do it off camera, but on camera, I am going to go through the four boxes I have to grab some things out. But while I do this, I want to talk to you about some videos I watched yesterday. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers is Karen Puzzles. She is an avid jigsaw puzzle uh, content provider. I just put it like that. And she's brilliant when it comes to jigsaw puzzles. In fact, she's so brilliant that I would never want to sit alongside her because I am too green when it comes to the excellent talent. But then I was thinking that we are all so different. Like, for example, my talent lies with reading and blogging and all things books. That's, that's where I excel at. And... Karen excels at puzzles and so-and-so might excel at coloring or diamond painting or macrame or whatever have you. We all have our different gifts and my gift is not jigsaw puzzles. My gift is reading, but it doesn't take away from the fact that I in it thoroughly enjoy working on jigsaw puzzles. So someone mentioned in my comments that Karen is going to be participating in an event and I think this weekend in fact and so I pulled up her channel and I watched three or four of her videos yesterday when she reported on an, on an event that took place last year and so I am so glad I watched those videos because I realized something that some things that I could change about how I work on my jigsaw puzzles so the first thing I noticed based on that video I saw is if I pull these four boxes out and I am going to stand up to see how much of it I can get in frame. Let me see what, what comes in frame. I may have to raise my camera. I'm just gonna raise my camera so you see one, two, three, four, way over there. Now, I know I can't keep it all in frame, but we're just gonna put the camera back here for right now. Is uh, when you work on puzzles, there's so many different ways to sort. Some people don't sort at all. They just put everything out and they just pick the pieces and they put them in. Some sort by shape, some sh sort by size, some sh sort by color, texture. So what I think I do is kind of a mishmash because it does change puzzle to puzzle. So I thought while I do this video, I would pull out some pieces that hopefully will comprise of the next part of the jigsaw puzzle that I work on for this mystery puzzle. But I also wanted to say that I didn't realize how much green was represented in this puzzle until I watched one of the championship videos yesterday. So I realized that, because I'm thinking that this might be 10 to 12 videos, Based on the number of green and the fact that I want to try to limit my videos to 30 minute increments, which I will edit down to 20 to 25 minutes, this might be 20 videos. I don't know. So the purpose of this today's video is I am going to work on these pieces. Okay. And I'm also going to probably pull out any browns. Now I Let's see if I have the box available because, oh, no, I don't. I have something in the box. Okay. I was hoping that, oh, wait a minute. I'm working on two puzzles simultaneously. Okay. So I'm going to let me stand up so I can make sure I put this in front of me. I'm going to tell you what, what came to mind. Thanks for watching Karen Puzzles is I am going to pull out things like I'm going to pull out his blue jacket. I am going to pull out any browns, which I'm, I'm doing, pulling out all the pieces to the roof. But now I see that the house has browns. 
and I will continue with maybe pulling out these colors next and so one thing I learned by watching Karen Puzzles is that you pull out your blocks like the color blocking type thing and then when I get to the tip and of course I see flowers here and things of that nature the, the rest of these purple flowers here and then once I get past these things here the, the jacket the this house this house here I will then fo oh I see the dog see so once I get past those sec sec sections then my next sections will be the words that appear at the bottom hopefully you can see that you see all the words part of the clues and I know I adjusted my camera so that you can see it better and then after I work on the words, then I will work on these blocks of green. So that is thanks to one of my viewers telling me that Karen Puzzles is going to be participating in event. So now I decided that there was two ways I could have handled it this morning. I could have pulled all the pieces out and then worked on the puzzle, or I could do what I'm doing now, which is talk to you and let you know what my strategies are. So we will move this out of the way. And I am simply going to go through all four boxes and grab what I can that indicates some of the things that I mentioned. The, the rest of the flowers here, any of these roof pieces, and any of the pieces of the houses. And I will just make them into three piles. Now I do have a few pieces over to my right over here and some pieces over to my left and they may encompass some of the pieces that I plan on collecting but we'll look at that later. So that is, I don't know if I want to call it a puzzle strategy but I do want to say that there's always something to learn. There's, okay, I see a bicycle. Now I saw a bicycle so we're going to take anything out for the bicycle as well. There's always something to learn. And instead of reading last night, which is basically how I spend the majority of my time is reading, I watched a number of YouTube videos on watching these champions. They were in Spain working on their jigsaw puzzles. And I learned, I learned some stuff. Now I am 61 years old. I have been doing jigsaw puzzles since I was a kid with huge gaps, huge breaks like not consistently I I have gone 15 years 20 years you know I've gone years without working on jigsaw puzzles but I have been doing them my whole life I mean since I was young I I want to put that correctly because I haven't been doing them consecutively in fact I am coming off of a one or two year break of jigsaw puzzles as of this past couple of weeks so watching those videos on YouTube last night was just so instrumental in helping me come up with, I want to say a better strategy because it's all about joy. You know, okay, now see, I already, I know this piece here, I saw this last night. So let's just throw this piece in right here. I mean, I didn't see it last night. I remembered last night that I wanted to pull out any pieces with the line. So I just will throw that in. So I... Oh, I lost my thought. I just, oh, while I am going to work on strategies of solving jigsaw puzzles, I don't want to take away the joy that comes with working on jigsaw puzzles. So I may be definitely trying to improve my strategy, but I don't want it to become a chore. It's much like my diamond painting, my reading, my blogging. I'm I'm loving those things. I find real joy in working on my videos, working on my book reviews, uh, cross-posting to social media and helping publishers and authors get their books recognized and helping other readers find books. That's all bringing me joy. And as long as it brings me joy, I will continue. And now, as I mentioned in my Yay November video, in that video, I mentioned that November is going to be a busy month because I want to embark. Um, I want to start doing other activities in November. I want to work on a miniature with a group called Gnome Homes. And I think there's 26 of us. 
And then I also want to work on the Spangler event by Mystery of Diamonds. And I will be doing um, uh, Train of Dreams, working on it. I will, will I finish it in November? I don't know because I November is going to be Miniatures, Train of Dreams. Of course, any reading and blogging that is necessary for me to do and continuing to work on puzzles to my pleasure. So will I finish Train of Dreams that I plan on starting in December, excuse me, in November? Very unlikely, but that's why I mentioned that video that I made, yay November. I will definitely be employing the wheel. And I also want to uh, timestamp, excuse me, time-lapse, <laughs> time-lapse, my miniature and also time lapse train of dreams. So November is going to be a great month. I do watch my granddaughter Lila from Monday to Wednesday. Well, she's here and my son is here, but we kind of split the duties. That sounds cruel. We, we, we split our time taking care of Lila. It's a pleasure. So take the word duties out. You didn't hear me say that word. So Monday through Wednesdays in November will be pretty, pretty, I'll be pretty busy with Lila, but she does nap for a good two hours every day. So if I time myself well, I'll still be able to do my time lapse videos. And then I, of course, I have from Thursday through Sunday, but Sunday is my meeting day and my meeting is at 1230 on Sunday afternoons. So I, I, I have some scheduling to do. Now I still haven't downloaded the Little Decisions app that was recommended to me to help me to uh, sort out what I'm going to do and what time frames. And the reason that I haven't really looked at that app yet is I'm still trying to determine if I want to do activities by day or by blocks of time. And until I make that decision, oh, I see something right here. Let's figure out where you go. So I still, I still have to determine that. And maybe I will design either the wheel or little decisions both ways. Just design it by days of the week or design it by blocks of time. Like just make two, two different programs and see which one is more beneficial. The other thing that I want to do in, um, what month are we in? Oh, in November is uh, I bought this reading journal from Kristen Adams, which is Cat's Book Nerd on 45. I think it's 45 on Etsy. And I noticed that she has other planners. So I am trying to determine if I am going to pull out a paper planner for this year, which I don't even know where anything is because I haven't touched my planners in forever and do some planning. So that's something else that I am. Um, sometimes if I see a piece, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. Nope, I thought that went there. Um, that's something else that I, sorry, I just had to put that piece down. That's something else that I am trying to think about in the next week because today is, I believe the 22nd and I, I wanna get myself organized. So I have a lot of enthusiasm right now towards some of the plans that I am making and want to make November a great month. And with regard to the miniatures with the Gnome Homes Group, which is Crafting Crime Daily, Tia, I still don't have her channel name, and Crafts with Crashly. Let's look up, because uh, I should have done that. Let's look at this really quickly. I just grabbed my iPad. That's what you see. That's why I stepped back from my puzzle. Tia's. Okay, Tia's Crazy Craft Addiction, Crafts with Crashly, and Crafting and Crime Daily are hosting the miniature event. 
and so I don't know how much time it will take me to work on the different projects and if you saw my miniature setup video you will see that I sorted according to Mystery of Diamonds I sorted my projects by I sorted my projects into individual bags so I don't know how long it will take to complete each project and some projects will take more time than others another thing is there's going to be a lot of pasting and gluing so I've got to I want to prime my uh, hot glue gun and get my hot glue gun sticks out and I want to decide if I'm going to work in here on this card table or if I'm going to work on my crafting table so I, I've got a few more decisions to make over the next I, I see another piece that I feel that I can put down but I was wrong can't okay so I have a few more decisions that I will be making in the next week and I'm still doing it all mentally I still haven't written anything down it's all just uh, you know being processed mentally but along the way I will be watching YouTube videos and I'm even wor even working on my video editing skills and techniques um, so it's it's all of those things that I thought I would mention while I'm p picking pieces out. So it appears to me that I probably won't, other than the two two pieces that I put down, I won't be doing much puzzle solving in this particular video. Okay, so this might be the jacket. It's a little dark, but we're going to put that over there. So that I may not be putting a lot of pieces down on this video because I wanted to talk to you about all of those things with regard to my November. But let's talk about the reason for this. The basic reason for this video is this is Murder at Little Piddling. I am call, still calling it video number two, although I talked about other things in relation to what I have coming up while I'm pulling pieces out. But one thing that I noticed, as mentioned already, that there's going to be a lot of green in here is at the bottom, and I showed you already, there's a lot of clues. And so at some point after I stop putting together these clumps of pieces that I have pulled out, which I might work on uh, this area right here while I'm on this video, while I am doing this, I will be continually reading those clues. And by reading the clues, I will hopefully start finding answers as far as who killed our victim and who the witnesses are like like or the who the suspects are like we talked I talked about this being George Wilson as a matter of fact let's just have a little fun and see if we can get the rest of his face I'm, I'm just going to just go through the box really quickly and see if I can spot the rest of George Wilson's face so I I'm excited that I will be solving this murder with you guys. And I wanted to also say, now this is somebody else's face. It's not George's face, but I did see if you can see. So that's either our victim or another suspect, but I'm going to leave that in the box. So I wanted to reiterate that if you, if you are going to purchase this puzzle, when we get to the point that it looks like I'm going to start solving it, I will say spoiler, 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 because I don't want anyone that might be wanting to work on this to have a spoiler. But if you're not going to be working on this puzzle yourself, then I hope that you stay with me throughout all of the videos. So I didn't see anything for George's face, but that's okay because there's just, you know, probably if this is a 1,000 piece puzzle, I probably have 900 pieces. Well, I would say 800 pieces to sift through. So that is all I'm going to pull for right now. 
and I'm going to just move my camera over a little bit. This here, no doubt, will go up there because it's it's part of a bigger house. So I am going to start putting this together and I will probably do this by time lapse because there's no doubt that I am going to fumble through some of these pieces as well as the fact that I may need more. So the rest will be via time lapse. Oh, I wanted to say something that is a mistake that I make with puzzles and it's indicative of the situation right now. So I, I'm going to just say this really quickly. Karen Puzzles was saying not to let your puzzle table, the middle of it, become very encumbered by pieces. And that's exactly what I've done here. So anyway, let me go back to time lapse while I struggle with these pieces. Okay, I paused the video because I wanted to write a quote down because I am listening to a book. So I just restarted the video if you see any inconsistency in the, in the, uh, whatever I'm doing. Okay, we're going to take a break from that. And we're going to work on some of these flowers. And then I will end the video and edit it. So let's see what we can do. I was, while I was putting that pieces together, while I was working on putting the pieces together, I started to look at the words and these flowers and I thought, let's see what we can do with these flowers. So that's what we're going to do right now. I might not be able to do much because I don't want any of the videos going on within 30 minutes, but we will see, we will see. And then also what I wanted to tell you about these flowers is there some of the clues are on them. So I, I just was kind of looking at that while I was fiddling with those pieces. I might not be able to get anywhere, but. And since I've never done, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know why that word, I need to write it down and just put it in front of me. Since I've never done time lapse before it's um, it's all it's all touchy feely
Now, I'm thinking about how I am going to handle this puzzle going forward to my next video. But I will say that uh, I am babysitting overnight tonight, so tomorrow's video is going to be quite late. So I am thinking that what I might do for the next video is to clean up my puzzle area and to work on placing these pieces into better piles. Cause see, I am putting pieces together, but not as fast as I, as quickly as I would like. So I might clean up this area here cause I've got a lot of space around the puzzle, not a lot, but a significant amount of space around the puzzle. So I might go ahead and clean up my puzzle area a little bit before I make my next video and fine line my colors. Like I noticed that we see a light purple stripe. Hopefully you can see that. So I'd like to find those colors. I would love to make this bottom row complete of the flowers and the words so I can start reading the clues. So those are a couple of things that I, I'm, I'm thinking about doing before my next video. Now, I am not experienced at video editing or working jigsaw puzzles on camera. I've seen Rebecca. I, I don't know if what her whole channel name is, but there's a, a puzzler named Rebecca. Then there's For the Love of Puzzles. Then there's Karen Puzzles. And I'm sure I'm going to find more in the weeks to come. So all I can do is my best. I did ask my son to take a look at this video so that he can give me some ideas on how I can better present myself in, in using time-lapse and close-ups and things of that nature. And now that I, because I fell asleep when I was watching those videos last night, then I got back up, rewound the video and we watched whatever I thought I missed when I fell asleep. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because I learned techniques. And although jigsaw puzzles won't be the main feature of this channel, just like cross stitching won't be the main feature of this channel or diamond painting won't be the main feature of this channel, I am going to continue with all the things, you know, Robin loves reading and all the things. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to see what orientation these words, they go this way. So if I'm going to continue this channel being Robin Lowe's reading and all the things, then that means that I want whatever it is I feature on this channel, whether it's a puzzle, whether I'm stitching, whether I'm diamond painting, whether I'm just talking about books, I want it to be as entertaining and as smooth as I can make it while keeping one channel. Now, I, I wanna talk about that just for a moment while I spend the last few minutes on this video. There are people who have multiple YouTube channels and they have successful multiple YouTube channels. But I have worked so hard to get to 1,000, now I think I'm at like 1,200, that I don't feel that I have enough energy to maintain more than one channel. So considering that, I want to make this channel as good as I possibly can with having clear enough thumbnails so that you can decide if you want to watch a video or not. So I will continue to educate myself by means of watching other channels just so that I can provide really good entertainment. So I just wanted to mention that. Okay, so I see there's a quote that involves Colin, and I remember looking at Colin's name on my previous video, and I still don't know where this is going to go. So you just, I'm just, go actually, I think this is going to go on the upper right, to be honest with you. And I'm going to tell you why I think that. Where's my box? What did I do with the box? I want to show you why I think that. Nope, I'm wrong. I was looking at these flowers here. Maybe I'm not wrong. But the thing is, 
there's calling underneath there. So this is tricky. I love I love that the puzzle box is different than what I'm working on. Because I just thought I was onto something, but I was I'm completely wrong. So I think that's enough for the, oh I see Colin's name again. Colin's name is here twice. So we can go this right here. Sometimes you see something when you think you're about done for a session and I have to get ready to go babysit. So I have to wrap this video up. I probably won't edit it until tonight when I put my granddaughters to bed. So you won't see this video. You probably won't see this video until either tonight or tomorrow, but I'm, I'm having fun. And like I said, we're going to reach a point where some of the clues are going to start making sense. And as the clues begin to make sense, we're going to start solving, as you can see it. Did you see I just put those together? Let me show you what I just did, because I might have been off camera. So I am, I am finding pieces that go. So as the puzzle begins to make sense, we're going to start to get closer and closer to reading some of these clues that are incorporated incorporated within the puzzle to the degree that we're going to start solving it. And if you're going to work this mystery puzzle on your own, then I don't want to spoil it for you. So I think I'm satisfied with what I've done. It wasn't a lot, but I didn't think that it would be because I wanted to talk to you about the World Championship Jigsaw Puzzles Individual and Team Karen Puzzles and Puzzle Strategy not polluting my board the way that I am so that I don't have a lot of room to move around. There's just so many, so many things that I learned. And I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really, while I'm, while I'm still talking, I thought I would put, try to put a few more pieces in. So this is this way. So we know that it's not going to go there. Um, I think this puzzle is going to have 11 frames. And so we have part of a whole frame done here and part of a frame done here and then part of this frame done there. So I, when I look at the words, I am getting an idea on how some of the framing of this thing is going. And I just, I think I just saw another, yeah, just saw another piece. So I think if I stay with this for the next half hour or so, I probably will get quite a few more pieces in because some of the things are starting to resonate and I'm just, I'm enjoying this. So if you like this video, please continue to watch this series. And like I said, uh, I'm about to go babysit, so I won't be able to probably make another video until tomorrow evening or even get this one edited before I head off to babysit. So, oh, I see some flowers. Let's see if we can do something with these really quickly. We may may or may not be able to, but if we can, why not try? All right, so these flowers are together, but not yet. We need more pieces. So let's end this video, and I want to thank you for watching, and I will be back with video number four as soon as possible. Bye-bye. I was going to put this puzzle up, but I noticed something, so I decided to attack this on the end of the video. I was looking, trying to figure out, how did I have this? I had this wrong. Well, I just want to show you something. I had these two pieces in there wrong, and I realized if that goes there, and if this goes there, that would mean that this would go here. So I just wanted to show you how you see something out of your mind's eye and you're like oh my goodness so I just want to throw that into the video because I'm so satisfied that I connected I'm starting to connect two frames because I mentioned this puzzle is by frame so hopefully you can see that I'm just going to throw it in it's only 45 seconds but hey it's worth it so here you go all right that this truly is the end of this particular video for now talk to you later bye bye